All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and the Vex Mythic class returns in Season 14 of Destiny 2. Very excited for this. If you don't know what this is, this was a Vault of Glass reward for killing Atheon in D1, and it was a small drop chance, and it was extremely powerful at the start. It got kind of neutered, and was always a cool and beloved weapon, but never really that OP after its initial launch, I'd say. I don't really remember a time when it was that strong afterwards but it's back in destiny 2 now this is the ornament inside the game if we look at light.gg we can read a little bit about this weapon damn that looks good that looks good the ornament looks good but i feel like i would like it more without the ornament personally let me know in the comments if you're an ornament or no ornament person so it's a exotic energy fusion rifle it's going to operate like an auto rifle though it's perk uh, timeless myth class weapon fires a single bolt with each trigger pull Temporal Unlimiter, defeating targets, build stacks of overcharge. So you can read the best about it with this perk right here. Uh, Temporal Unlimiter. Defeating targets, build stacks of overcharge. So you're going to be using this weapon. You're going to clear a pile of ads, uh, whatever it may be. I don't know how many it's gonna stacks of overcharge you're going to get. But once you get enough stacks, you get uh, fully overcharged. Okay, So you can swap firing modes when fully overcharged. Uh, when you get all those stacks put up. And then you have an alternate firing mode where you can hold the trigger to charge up and fire more powerful linear fusion shots, which is really crazy. That was definitely not the way it was in D1. So interesting to see Bungie's new approach to bringing this stuff back. We've seen this with reprised exotics and weapons from uh, D1 to D2. They want to you know, have a D2 flavor to them and not just be a copy and paste. And so far, so good. They've done a really good job. I think with bringing over the exotics like for example the thorn um but got really neutered hard in d1 and i was kind of sad about it but the d2 thorn is actually quite powerful and cool so i'm excited to see how powerful the vex mythic class is and uh we'll see what who has the good rng and actually gets this on their first completion there'll be a few lucky sobs out there that do and uh, hopefully i'll be in that category because i would love to have this thing right off the bat there's also a vex Myth class catalyst. We don't really have any information on this other than just the normal catalyst information. You know, generate orbs after rapidly defeating targets and gain a tracker that displays the number of targets defeated with it. It also will receive additional capabilities. So we'll see what the catalyst does, how we get the catalyst, and how much more powerful that will actually make this weapon. But overall, Vex has been a love weapon for a very long time. And I'm sure Bungie is going to bring it back, and it's probably going to be disgustingly OP because it's a very weird weapon to balance. It says it's a 360 RPM weapon, so it basically operates like an auto rifle, but it has the power of a fusion rifle, and that's why it was so OP when it first came out in D1. Uh, will it be as powerful as it was in D1 at the start? Unlikely. Will it be really good in the game for PvP and PvE? I would say highly likely for PvE at least, and for uh, PvP, for PvE, it'll be like a 10 out of 10, I think. But for PvE, we'll see. Maybe maybe not as much. Just considering the way its perk works where you want to get kills and then use it as a linear fusion. I don't know if that's really going to be the best playstyle. But only time will tell, you know. We'll see once we can get our hands on this. Obviously, it's going to take us 11 days to get into the raid from now. But very exciting stuff to see. And uh, it also has a 100 aim assist stat. So this thing is looking a bit scary with that as well. Some. And as that, someone said that the catalyst increases stability with, with stacks of a charge. Very interesting. Some. I couldn't find any information on that in light.gg, but if that's what it does, that's really cool. That's going to be a wrap for this video, though. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.